What's up guys? You've probably seen string floating around in some videos, you know, about it, you know, being a competitor to NADN or replacing NADN. But today I'm going to put it to the test just to see if it lives up to the hype. And for those who don't know what string is, so string is basically just a new AI tool by Pipedream. It just lets you build workflow automations just by describing what you want in, you know, uh, natural language or English, which is pretty funny because I just put out a masterclass on creating voice agents and a video on how to use AI to create AI agents and workflows. And so if you want to check that out, I'll just put the video in the description. But yeah, basically just uh, creates the whole workflow for you or AI agent for you uh, just from what you say. So it's made by Pipedream. If you don't know what Pipedream is, it's basically just like NADN or make.com or Zapier, any of those sort of orchestration platforms. I don't really know too much about it, but uh, apparently it's like a little bit more developer focused, but I don't really see how that differs from NADN. Yeah, and so if you've been following my content, then you'll know that I build voice agents and sometimes, you know, building these agents and building the backing can be pretty time consuming. So when I saw this, I just thought I'd test it out and see how good it is, you know. So I'm just going to use the free trial. Oh, well, it is an alpha, so it's still in testing and we only get 4 million tokens of free usage. So we'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically ask it just to create a whole backend for a voice agent and connect it to go high level and then we'll also just try and create like a youtube trend detector because that's something i've been wanting to create but you haven't really got around to it so we may as well use this video for it just real quick uh, if you guys want any uh, ai voice agents or or you're interested in implementing ai into your business check out my agency business solution what we mainly do is help generate leads uh, by using you know ads and voice agents but we are looking to bridge out from just this offer. It's a bit generic. If you're interested, uh, book a call or just contact us. And if, if you're in the United States, uh, you can do our agent and it'll qualify you and book an appointment. What you want to do is search up pipedream.com slash string. And that'll bring you to this page. So I've already used it uh, before. So it used about 1.1 million uh, tokens. But I'll probably use that prompt again uh, just to show you uh, what it does. Before we use it, I'll go to pipedream.com. And then if we come to accounts and then we click on connect an app and see that there's a, a bunch of integrated services with Pipedream, so you can just connect it directly. So what I'll do first is I'll, I'll connect it with high level or go high level, do high level and we'll go, and I'll go API key. I'll just go YouTube tutorial. Get my API key, I'm gonna come to high level. Once I'm in high level, I'm just gonna come to settings. I'm gonna come to uh, business profile. I'm gonna click on API key, generate key, and I'll copy that and then I'll just Paste that in there, save it, and then you can see that it's connected that now. So string is actually their build with AI feature, and you can see that it's an alpha. And so what I'm going to create, I want to create a webhook. A webhook will be sent whenever a call started in and analyze. Those are the events. Uh, webhooks will also be sent when an appointment is wanting to be booked. The names of those functions will be check availability and book appointment, which will check the availability and book the appointment in go high level. There will be one function before it called create contact which will create the contact and go high level so i will send that now and so this is what string has put out so i'll create an agent that receives webhooks for core events started ended analyzed and appointment booking requests when appointment booking webhooks come in i'll first create a contact and go high level and then check availability and finally book the appointment the agent will use a webhook trigger to receive these different event types and handle them accordingly with conditional logic and go high level actions and then i'll click on approve plan and start and let's see how long this takes. And so you can see that it shows the thinking as well. So this is what it's created. So that took about 12.58. So that took about uh, five minutes. So I'll just copy this webhook right here. I've got plenty of videos on creating voice agents, so uh, check those out. But I'm just gonna use this one that I created in another video and I'll put it in my webhook settings in the agent. And I'll test it. So you can see that it's Good day, this is Sarah now. calling from Demetri Luxury Properties. Am I speaking with Demetri? Um, yeah. Excellent. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm reaching out because you've shown interest in luxury property opportunities in New Zealand. I'd love to learn a bit about your property investment goals to see how we might assist you. Well, would you have a few minutes to discuss your luxury property interests? Uh, sure. Wonderful, thank you. To ensure I share the most relevant opportunities with you, what investment range are you considering for luxury properties in New Zealand? Are you looking at properties in the 2 to 5 million range or perhaps something above that? Uh -huh. I'm something about that. To help us match Probably something about that. Thank you for sharing that. So you're considering properties in the two to five million range, excellent. And in terms of timing, are you actively looking to purchase within the next six months or are you in more of an exploratory phase for future investment? Um, probably just in a, uh, ex uh, uh, probably within the next few months. That's fantastic. So you're looking to make a move within the next few months. Next. Okay, so I just had to end that call, but it's telling me to connect the OAuth account instead of um, API. 
see, let me just ask. Uh, Go level. Let me update the correct contact step to use the regular Go level app instead of the OWALS version, and then I'll fix. Oh, okay. Progress. Yeah. Okay. So here it was basically telling me that the webhook didn't really know how to map the event properly, so I just had to test it again. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. The event router is now working correctly and properly detecting the call started event. Now I need to update the remaining steps to work with your Go High Level API key connection instead of OAuth. Let me update the create context step. Okay, so uh, you can see that I've already used 2 million tokens and I've only got about 900,000 left. So probably only got about one more uh, prompt left in me. So now it says it needs to create the context step uh, props. Looking at the webhook data from the test, from the test, I can see that there's different information in this call. The webhook contains dynamic variables with a name field set to Dimitri and a contact ID. However, I noticed there's no email. For appointment booking scenarios, I should extract information from the webhook event data. I'll configure the name from the dynamic variables and set up the email and phone to be extracted from the webhook data when available. The correct contact step is now configured with Go High Level. API key connection and the contact information props, name and email, that's set to extract data from the webhook. I need to test the step to ensure it can successfully create a contact in Go Halibur using the configured props and API connection. Okay, so um, let me click on test. So it looks like it's created a contact in Go Halibur. So let me have a look. So it's created a contact in Go Halibur and it's just used uh, AI to create the uh, email and, and phone number or just the email which is uh, pretty cool actually. And now it's moving on to check availability. So I can see that check availability step still needs to be updated to use your Go Halibur API key. And so now it's, I think it's moving on to uh, the book appointment node. So we've only got 134,000 uh, tokens left, so probably won't finish it, but I will see. Oh, well, I'm out of tokens now, but I still think that was pretty good. I think that that worked pretty well. Yeah, so I've run out of tokens now, so, but I think we can already see that what I was using it for, you probably wouldn't use it for that. Um, for the back end of an AI agent, what I'll do now, I'll just sign into a different Google account and I'll actually test out building a different agent. Okay, so I'm not going to try to use it for uh, voice agent backends anymore because uh, I don't think it can do that, at least not yet. But what I'll do is I'll try and build that YouTube trend detector now. So got a prompt here. So it's just create a daily automation that monitors YouTube trends and sends me actionable insights for content creation. Every day at 8 a.m. check the top trending YouTube videos or trending videos on YouTube and the technology and business categories for each trending video. Extract the title, view count, upload date, channel name and key topics mentioned. Analyze the data to identify emerging trends, popular keywords and content patterns that are gaining traction. Then use AI to generate five content ideas based on these trends that would be relevant for my AI automation and voice agent content. For each content idea, include a catchy title, brief description, why it's trending and how I can put my own spin on it. And then it's just got the uh, formatted email report. And then send this daily trend to my email so I can stay ahead of what's popular and create content that rides the trending waves. Also maintain a Google Sheet that tracks trending topics over time so I can spot longer term patterns and recurring themes that consistently perform well. So I'll send that through. And this one's uh, fresh on uh, 4 million tokens, so uh, hopefully it can create it and then so this is what i said so i'll create a daily youtube trend monitoring agent that runs every morning at 8am here's what i'll do first i'll use the youtube data api to fetch the top trending videos in technology and business categories extracting key metrics like titles view counts upload dates and channel names then i'll use ai to analyze this data and identify emerging trends popular keywords and content patterns the ai will also generate five actionable content ideas specifically tailored for your ai automation and voice agent content complete with catchy titles descriptions and trending insights next i'll format all this information into a comprehensive email report that includes the top five trending videos identified trending topics your five content ideas and optimal posting times based on when successful videos were uploaded finally i'll automatically log all the trending topics and keywords to a google sheet so you can track longer term patterns and spot recurring themes that consistently perform well the agent will send this personalized trend report to your email every day at 8 a.m keeping you ahead of what's popular so you can create content that writes the trending waves and i'll just click on approve plan and start Let's see how long this takes. Oh, 
Okay, so you can see it's running off a uh, scheduled trigger. So it's daily at 8am. So now what I need to do is connect up my uh, YouTube API. So uh, connect. Uh, so I click on connect new account and I'll just sign in. And I'll click on continue. I'll select all and I'll click on continue. So I'll click on submit. So Okay, so now it's made that API connection. It's asking me if I want to test that. So I'll click on test, see if it's working. Okay, so that worked well. So it successfully fetched 20 videos. So uh, now it should go back to uh, writing out. Yep. And now it's asking me to test the AI analysis. So to generate content insights. So I'll click on test. I'm not sure if it needs me to uh, connect my open AI account. Okay, so let's check the analysis. So top five training videos. So this is the message. So the message, the top five videos from zero to your first AI agent in 25 minutes. Well, wow. okay, so, and then now uh, we just need to connect our Gmail account, which should be pretty easy again. We just sign in with our Google account. Click on continue, click on uh, select all. And I'll click on continue. Okay, so now it's asking me to send an email. So I'll click on test. Okay, so there was an error, invalid or unexpected token. So let me click on this Gmail node. Um, okay. Sorry, experiment we use has again. Please give it a few seconds and try again. Okay. Let me just say try it. Okay. Okay, so it says that the problem is probably the HTML template and JavaScript expressions in the body. So I'll click on test again. That looks good in the body before. So yep, successfully sent the email. And I can feel my phone, I just got a notification. So this is what it sent. So it's still, it's not really that good. But we've got top five videos. So we've got from zero to your first AI agent. These 13 AI tools will save you a thousand hours. Send the best AI tools, create an entire video with ChatGPT. Top 10, okay, so good to these body with in 10 minutes. Top five AI automation tools. Can you replace your video editor creating YouTube videos with ChatGPT and video? Future proof your career. Oh, you, know, you don't have to listen to this. Okay. Good. And then now I just need to connect my Google Sheets. And that'll just be the same. Just connect your Google account. So I just go Dimitri HS. And yeah, so this is good because it's like connected to the cloud, right? You're not self hosting, so you don't have to create, you don't have to connect it through Google Cloud, which can be a hassle sometimes, you know? So. Okay, so I'll just create a, a sheet real quick. Uh, not these sheets. Google Sheet. Okay, so go on here and I'll just go YouTube tutorial. Sure. Come back down here. Select an option. Let's click on load more. There we go. And I'll click on submit. We can basically see that it just said uh, needs to configure the Google Sheets. So it just says it's got to create columns for the date, the training topics, the top videos, and the channel. And then I'll reference the AI analysis to data to extract the training topics and video information for logging into the spreadsheet. So it says the, the Google Sheet step is now fully configured. So now I'll just test it and come to here. Okay, so it says July 7, AI tools round up from zero to hero, or from zero to <laughs> your first AI agent in minutes. So let me just, so let's see what it says here. So it said, uh, added one row. So let's see what's going to do next. Okay. So now it says, I've successfully built your daily YouTube train monitoring agent. It's now set to run every morning at 8am and will automatically search for training videos, analyze them with AI, send you a detailed email report and log the data to your Google Sheets for tracking patterns over time. All the tests passed perfectly. The agent fetched relevant AI and technology videos, generated structured insights with content ideas, sent the email report and logged the training data to your spreadsheet. If everything works like you want, you can deploy the agent at the top right of the UI, or I could add some additional features, uh, filter videos by specific, specific view count thresholds to focus on viral content, add sentiment analysis to identify positive versus negative trending topics, create separate email reports for different content category, categories, set up select notifications for urgent trending opportunities. Um, so maybe what I'll do is, let's say, let's get one, let's make the email, you need to, if that's a word, and then let's, all the uh, all five videos 
Let's see. 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 let us see 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 Okay, so it says that it's added the step to filtering the higher performing videos. So now we need to test the update we just made to filter the videos. And it's come back successful. Now we need to test out the uh, AI analysis step. So this one right here. Looks like that tested successfully. So now it's uh, sending the email. Hopefully we get a better email format, invalid or unexpected token. So that's what gave us that first error in the first time we sent the email. So it says it's fixed it. So let's click on test. And I think it, okay, it's successfully sent now. And I just got a notification. Okay, so it's still the same. Um, obviously you can still read it, right? Obviously you can still read it, but it's obviously can be a little bit more appealing to the eyes and then now it's just going to update adding all the videos to google sheets which i think you can already do but it just added one just because look at the sheet yep so now it works and yeah so i'd say that's good now let me uh deploy it and i'll i won't wait until next morning to, to um finish this video but, but yeah it's actually pretty good um, I didn't think it was going to be that good after trying to create the back end for the voice agent, but I think um, this is actually good. Especially because it's like all like MCP already integrated. So, yeah. Yeah, so string was actually pretty good in the end. It's definitely good for people who don't know how to create automations and, and it's definitely uh, not too good for people who do. But I guess the main thing would be people's awareness with the tools and stuff. But yeah, so I managed to create that YouTube trend detector agent within i think it was about i think it was just around four million tokens but they're still pretty good because that's actually a, a good automation obviously there's upsides and downsides like i don't know if that was just a skill issue or something with the innate in back end for the ai agents and stuff but i don't think it can do that yet i think there would be a way you could if you mapped it out individually and it might be easier to scale that way but definitely couldn't do what i wanted it to do the other thing is that NADN is basically free, but if we come to upgrade, then your basic package is uh, $30 a month. But you still get 10 free credits. I don't know what that is because I don't really know much about Pipedream, like I said before. But uh, yeah, I wonder if they've got any affiliates. It does seem like a actually pretty good tool and one that actually works. Yeah, but you know, if you like the video, then you know, leave a like. Check out my agency, uh, Beza Solutions, if you want some. Yeah, automations or just use string if you like the video then like the video comment something else you guys might want to see if you guys want this uh youtube chain monitor then comment down below and i'll try to get it to you or if if i find out how to share the templates properly then i'll just leave it in the description if you want to connect with me or flip me a message just connect with me on linkedin and if you want to see more uh, ai content click the subscribe button and i'll just try and put as much value uh, in my videos as i can